everyone. So today I am going to do a book review and um, I'll put a timeline for you when you can skip to the book review. I just want to have a little chat before I start. So I just finished filming a course of which I called Playful uh, watercolor with mixed media and this was my first online course and I put so much blood sweat and tears into it I worked super hard for it and um, at this point um, that sort of tiredness is there and also wanting to kind of recharge my creative batteries and getting inspired so the best place for me is um, the reason I'm sharing this is because you might feel similar in a way of being uninspired or not knowing what to do. So for me right now, uh, the best thing is to be inspired by other artists and look at their different styles and ideas and textures, mediums, all of that good stuff. So if you're new to this and if you're interested, I'll put a link up here for the course launch, which I did. Um, and so you can have a look what the course is about. Anyway, um, so what brought on this is the fact that I now have three books by um, Helen Birch and there is a f total of four that she published. So the initial book that I have um, featured on my channel actually about over a year ago uh, is this one, Just Add Watercolor. And what happened is that recently Helen uh, commented on one of my videos and basically uh, said to me that there is a new book she came out and this book is Just Draw Botanicals, which I've done a review for already, so I'll link it up here. However, um, I started kind of looking through my um, all the book reviews and I couldn't find one and I done some sort of like a, um, a book review in a whole but there isn't a standalone book review so I will do this book again because it's really really fun and it was the first one that I bought then having um, bought this book I also checked out the others the fourth one I can't get hold of because on Amazon UK at the moment it's only available in French language so I can't get it um, it's something I think it's something to do with illustration I'm not 100% sure of, of the title but something like that and so this book is the drawn from life and um, let's see when this was published okay so this one was uh, 2017 this is obviously very fresh and new so that's 2020 and then this one, so this one was 2015. So it looks like the sequence is like this. So 2015, 2017 and 2020. So the fourth book, I'm not sure if it was the first or the second or the third, but um, it's one of those basically. Okay, so today I will do this book here just to have a standalone review. Um, and then the next one would be this one. Okay, so Just Add Watercolor by Helen Birch, inspiration and painting techniques from contemporary artists. So what I like about her books is the format, they're nice and neat and small. I've taken um, her books on well, this book uh, when I was traveling and it's very easy to carry with yourself. It sort of fits everywhere and, you know, it's nice and not heavy. So this is the back of it. And I love the fact that Helen curates all these um, artists and therefore her books are filled with different styles and a very kind of wide range of, of things. Um, so in this case it's all about watercolour and you will see in a minute what I mean. So in contents we have um, traditional watercolour, gouache, digital, mixed media, other water-based media, non-paper non -paper media, materials, equipment, what next, etc. Okay, so here the other thing I like about her books is a great overview that you get of all the artworks. So if there is something specific you want to have a closer look at, you just quickly browse this and decide that, for instance, um, I want to learn about this painting. So you go to page 87 in this case, and it's super easy to find and then you can 
uh, see who the artist is and a little bit of information. Speaking of which, um, this is the layout, so on every um, left page you get kind of the description of what kind of um, piece of art it is, so in this case it's traditional watercolour. And then you get a little bit of writing here explaining what the artist might be using or where the inspiration is coming from, um, talking a little bit about techniques or um, supplies, the art supplies. So in this case, you can see here uh, dye-based inks, Dr. P.H. Martin's Radiant Concentrated Watercolor. Um, so that's what has been used here. And um, then there is a tip always, use a hairdryer or a straw to blow washes around into or away from other colors. Tilting and tipping our paper can be effective too. In fact, I have used one of these techniques in, in my um, new course. Okay, so um, yeah, so that's that's what you get. A very wide range of different artists. Sometimes I noticed artists can be repeated with their different styles of work, but it doesn't happen too often. Generally, it's just a very wide range of artists on all sorts of, as you can see, um, different papers, different mediums, even though it's watercolor, but it's sort of, you know, showing how you can use watercolor in different uh, styles. So for, for instance, here we have the um, colors here that are grouped together and everything is done sort of in, in a kind of monochromatic way. So that is what it is and let me just show you. So here you get the best overview on these two pages or four pages rather and gorgeous, gorgeous variety. And you can get so much inspiration from textures, from line, from brush making, from color palettes, um, just everything really. So I'll just give you a little flip through here. Nice and sweet and short. This is a beautiful color palette, quite muted. Loads of grays and muted turquoises with a bit of orange here. Very beautifully done, beautifully illustrated. Gorgeous. Um, some more abstract pieces. This is something that I feel um, a lot of um, pull to this type of art. I feel a lot of connection. I just love this sort of thing. This is what I have been into lately. Um, even things like collages. So yeah. Loads and loads of lovely artists. And then at the end you have the materials list and just a brief kind of introduction to them. So if you're a beginner, uh, you would learn a little bit about that as well. So that's it. Love, love, love it, <laughs> of course. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you soon.